Hey guys, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up three of the most popular VPNs on the market, and they are ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. After having tested many VPNs out there, both paid and free VPNs, I can definitely say that these are the three that I recommend the most. They just perform really well and would do everything that you would want from a VPN. Now, the first step would be to go to their website and pick a plan and sign up. And I'll have links for this in the description that will actually save you some extra money on them. And once you do that, let's say you're an ExpressVPN over here, you can go to your page, your account page, and you can pick which device or console you want to download Express on. So I have a Windows computer, so we'll go Windows. And then a page will open up where we will get this activation code. So keep that here for a minute and then go and download the ExpressVPN app. Once you download it and install it, it's going to ask you for that activation code. So just go over to the browser, copy that activation code, and then paste it here. Click continue, and then you will be signed in and the app will be activated and ready to go. You'll have a few options here if you want to launch it on startup. I'd prefer not. You can send diagnostics and stuff that's totally anonymous. So let's do that. And that's all there is to it. The app is set up and ready to go. I can go here to this location bar and click from one of the locations. Express has 105 countries with over 3000 servers. So there are quite a lot. Let's say I wanted the United States. I can go here to the US or I can go to this arrow and find more servers within the US. So I can pick one, let's say Atlanta, close this down and then click on the connect button. And then because this is the first time that I'm actually setting it up, it's gonna give me these options if I wanna block a lot of this stuff, but I can do that later. And that's it, I'm connected up to a server in Atlanta and the VPN is set up and ready to go. Now over in NordVPN, it'll be a similar story. You go over to their website, you go to log in, and then you go to your account. And once you're here, you go to the downloads and again, pick which console you want to download NordVPN on. So again, since I'm on Windows, I'll download the app for Windows, save that, and start the installation process. Okay, so now once the NordVPN app is installed, you're just gonna have to log in again in the app. So we'll go to log in and we'll enter in our credentials. And then once you've done that, you'll get this message that you're in and you can just continue to the NordVPN app. So let's click continue. And there you go. Now we just have to do a few different things to set up. So you can do auto connect in order to get set up on all networks. You can choose whether you want the kill switch on. And what this will do is disconnect your internet access if the VPN connection ever drops unexpectedly. So this can be really useful if you're going to be using networks that are not necessarily so safe, like public Wi-Fi networks in hotels or different places like that. And in order to prevent your internet connection by being exposed, if the VPN ever drops, you can enable the kill switch so that if the VPN connection ever does go out, your internet also gets disconnected. So depending on your needs and what you're gonna be doing with your VPN, this may be a good idea to enable. And then threat protection is another feature here which blocks ads, dangerous websites, and malicious files. So this is generally something that I would recommend enabling. We can click next now and move on. Here you have a few other add-ons that you can choose to install if you want, but I'm just gonna leave that for right now and finish it. And this is the main homepage in NordVPN. And the actual VPN would be over here on the left sidebar, the second option here. This would be the VPN and you have this really nice interactive map and you can just click on any of these nodes and connect to a server in one of these places. You can also find these in a list if you go to more connection options and you just scroll down, you'll have the list and the search bar for all of the different servers and countries. NordVPN, by the way, has 111 countries as of now with 6,000 plus servers. So it does have more than Express in that regard. And with Surfshark, it will be a very similar process. Again, we go to the website, we sign up, or again, you could use those links that I have in the description, and then you click log in. Once you're in your account, you can go over here to home and download apps, and then you can pick the platform, again, Windows, because I'm using Windows, save that, start the installation process, and we'll just do the same steps again. Now here, just like in Nord, we have the app up and running, so we have to log into our account and enter our credentials. Once you've done that, you'll get the message that says authentication complete and you can close this. And now that's all there is to it. We're in Surfshark. Again, you have your list of countries. By the way, Surfshark has a hundred countries with also like 3000 plus servers. So very similar to Express in this regard. So that's pretty much all there is to it, whether or not you're setting up Surfshark, ExpressVPN or NordVPN. However, there is one last thing that I wanna show you, which is really important to know when you are first starting out with a VPN, and that is the protocol. And what the protocol basically is, is like a delivery service. It's gonna be the thing that's gonna take everything that you do on your computer and bring it over through the VPN 
to the websites that you're visiting or whatever services or whatever you're doing on the internet. Now, just like delivery services, if they're delivering a package can vary in terms of their speed and how available they're gonna be in different locations and also how well they're gonna take care and protect your package, the same works for protocols. So different protocols can affect the speed of your connection, how available they're gonna be in different places in the world, and also how secure they're gonna be. Now in ExpressVPN, if we would go over here to this menu bar and go to the options and go to the protocols tab, you're gonna have basically two options, lightweight and open VPN. And each one is gonna have UDP and TCP. And it actually says here a short description, a little bit about the pros and cons of these different protocols. But in general, I would say lightweight UDP is all around the best one and the fastest one. However, you can also choose automatic and it will try to find the best one for you. Similarly in NordVPN, if we go to the settings and we go to connection, the first thing here will be VPN protocol. And they also have an auto option and they also have Nord links, which is like lightweight NordVPN's own protocol and the one that I would generally recommend. And also in Surfshark, it's similar if you go to the settings and you go to VPN settings and then you scroll down, you get to protocol again, automatic, OpenVPN or WireGuard. And WireGuard is the one that I would recommend if you aren't just selecting automatic. And you may have noticed here that OpenVPN is showing up on all three of these here. OpenVPN is an older protocol, so it's more widely used. And in some locations, you may find that it's the only one that's actually gonna work with your VPN. However, in terms of speed, it's generally not going to be as fast as WireGuard or NordLynx or Lightway. Now, like I mentioned, these are three of my favorite VPNs out there, but they are not necessarily all gonna be relevant for every single person. In general, my overall top recommendation would be ExpressVPN, and at the same time, its speeds are really good and it gets really stable connections. I find it to be the perfect VPN, especially if you're going to be using it for things like streaming content that's only available in a different country, so on Netflix or Hulu or Amazon Prime Video, or for in general accessing content and websites that are only available in different places in the world. I really find ExpressVPN does a really good job at it. However, NordVPN is my go-to VPN if I'm looking for more technical features that ExpressVPN doesn't offer because Express is designed to be relatively simple. So NordVPN is the opposite to that. NordVPN has a lot of different features and a lot of flexibility. So if you're somebody who's looking to get the most out of what a VPN can do, then I would definitely recommend Nord. And Surfshark is, I would say, the best budget VPN option out there. It comes at a really cheap price compared to the other two here, but at the same time has a lot of high level features that you don't normally find in a VPN at this price point. So those are my recommendations, guys. I hope you found this useful. And if you want full reviews for any of these three, and again, if you want some discount links that will save you some extra money on them, you'll find all of that in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next one.